Hi guys, Alice Taylor here and today we're going to take a look at the new Odyssey Toe Up Putters. Now, a couple of different models, there's the number one and the number nine, so very classic models. Uh, they come with a very fancy shiny head cover, but we're going to get rid of that, that's fine. Now, this is something very different for me. I see a lot of guys struggle with the putting and there's a lot of theory about are you a straight back and through putting stroke or does your putting stroke work on a little bit of an arc. Now for me personally, I believe the putting stroke has to have an arc in there because you stand to the side of the golf ball and therefore the putter moves on that arc around you. So my belief with putting is for somebody who wants less rotation of the putter face during their stroke they would use something that would be traditionally face balanced so as you hold the putter and hang it there the putter face would look to the sky for guys who need that little bit more rotation in their stroke they would go for something toe hang and as you hang the putter there the toe would hang down to the ground now the little challenge you have is a lot of golfers maybe feel that they want and would benefit from less rotation in their stroke and therefore something face balanced would be massively beneficial. Historically though, anything that's face balanced that stops rotation is very much a mallet head, bigger, the weight's moved away from the face and wider to help with that. Now the challenge is I think a lot of guys love the look of a blade putter but then they have that sacrifice of, do I have something that looks good, that doesn't feel great and work fantastic, or do I go for something that would work for me? So you never really get that ideal putter. So Odyssey have come up with something very, very different, that as the putter hangs now with the way the weight's repositioned, the toe actually hangs up to the sky. So some great stuff in there, and we're gonna talk a little bit more now about some of the technical stuff in there. We're going to hit some putts. We're even going to use the Chrome Soft ball today. So Callaway getting full coverage here, and we're going to use it with the TrueViz technology. So for me, kind of very different with the design. Kind of almost looks like a, another putter inside the case of the putter, but slightly different look with the neck of the putter. We've got the Metal X face. So again, going to get grip the ball a little bit, get the ball rolling that little bit quicker on the surface. And each of them are coming with a super stroke, Flatso 1.0 grip on there. And you can certainly see when the putter sits behind the ball, the HD lines really do stand out from the face. And we've got the Chrome Soft ball with the TrueViz technology. Let's hit some putts, give you some feedback about the new toe-up putter from Odyssey. Okay then guys, so we've talked about some of the technical stuff in the head. Now straight away for me, the, the, the shape of the head, I actually really, really like. This is very much something that, that I would put with. I think as I put it down behind the golf ball, it does sit a little bit differently, just because of the way the hosel is and the way the weight's positioned. But I like the way it sits behind the golf ball. I think it, it, it looks good and I do like the lines on the back of the putter. I think it helps you aim. Um, obviously super stroke grip is on this as standard. Um, hugely, hugely popular nowadays. And I understand all the theory in it about taking the hands out the stroke. Personally speaking, not a huge fan of the thicker grips. I do prefer something a little bit thinner and a bit more traditional. But having said that, this is how this putter sets up. So I've got a little 10 foot putt, break off the right, let's hit some putts, give you some feedback. So like I said, I think behind the ball, I think it, it, it looks nice. I think it looks very, very easy to set up. And as you hit that putt, I think with the Metal X face, I think it feels nice off the face. Not too soft, equally not too firm. And the beauty with other putters in the Odyssey range, there are different inserts that you can kind of get a bit more into the feel side of it with that. But first put for me there, it, it does look and feels a bit different. For me, I like something with a bit of rotation in my stroke, so I'm not convinced something like this would be for me personally. But again, we're going to aim just down the right. 
Now, in my defence, the greens have been cored about a week ago, so before I get lots of comments about I don't hold any putts, I'll hit some good putts that'll miss, I might hit some poor ones that'll go in today. But, everything about this, I think theory sounds brilliant for me, and I think this will benefit a huge number of guys. Do I like the look of it? It's, it's okay for me personally. It's the first time I've put it with the Truvis ball as well. I actually quite like that. And um, the Chrome Soft ball, I have done a review on uh, as part of my premium golf ball, so check that out if you want. But it feels nice and soft off the face, I think, or soft enough for me. Probably personally, the big sticking point is the grip. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of these grips, but we sell a huge number of these and you can see from the Odyssey range how popular it is but yeah I think it kind of looks good behind the ball it's blowing a gale down here so apologies if the uh, the mic is picking up a little bit of that but sets up good finally hold one we won't finish the video on that one but I think it'd take a little bit of getting used to for me I mean, I don't know. For me personally, I probably wouldn't put something like this in my bag. But I do have a number of guys that I work with who love Odyssey putters, and there's good reason to love the Odyssey putters. Fantastic range of different designs, different inserts, you know, everything guys could want from the design aspect. For the guy who really, really has too much rotation in their stroke, who can see the benefit of a mallet putter, but like something more, I suppose classic isn't the right word, but I would say classic, more of your blade style putter. I think this will massively appeal. Like I said, at the moment, they do this in the number one and number nine models. So if it is something you're in the model, uh, in the market for a new putter, uh, you should certainly be trying Odyssey because like I said, they've got the widest range of putters out there. And if you are something with less rotation, the toe-up range is definitely something that will benefit your stroke. As ever guys, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, leave any feedback. Some of you guys might have tried these. Some of you guys might already have this in your bag. Let me know if it's transformed your game. Let me know if it's still the thing on the end that's maybe letting it down slightly. But leave comments for me. I'll get back to you as quick as I can with those replies. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Like I said, I've been reviewing the Odyssey Toe-Up Putter. It's different. I can massively see the benefits in this. Not for me personally. I think it, it works against too many things that I do well in my stroke and something that I wouldn't have in my bag. But plenty of you guys out there should have it. So guys, look forward to catching up with some of you in the future down here. Stay in contact.